These are the new vehicles that are going to be drip-fed as part of the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC over the next few weeks and months. Now it might seem like we have a very small lineup of drip-feed vehicles, that's because we do, but some of these cars have some pretty cool features despite seemingly being normal vehicles, so let's get right to it. The first car we're going to take a look at is the Bravado Buffalo EVX, which will sell for 2.14 million. It's a muscle car, but outside of that, I can't really say anything interesting about it. It's just another muscle car. The next car in the lineup is the Albany Brigham, which will sell for $1.5 million. This car seems to be based off of the 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Sentinel Ambulance, which famously made an appearance as a car used in Ghostbusters. As a muscle car, it can pull off wheelies, and with the right mods, you too can make your very own ambulance that can wheelie, perfect for transporting X tryhards in. The next car, the Pinot Le Cordes, which apparently translates to Sheepish the Runner, will sell for $2 million and heavily replicates the Renault 5 Sport. Pretty cool. The next car that we're going to be taking a look at is the Bravado Hot Ring Hellfire, which will sell for $1.8 million. Now, as the name suggests, it's a hot ring racer, but it's actually got the option of having a roof modification, which real NASCARs have in the form of anti flip flaps. These, in real life, prevent cars from lifting off the ground as a result of high speed and out of control situations. And that to me is pretty darn cool to see in GTA. It's definitely a nice touch. Now let's take a look at some bicycles. There's actually two versions of the same cycle that's going to be added as part of Drip Feed, the Inductor and the Junk Energy Inductor. I can't really say much about these other than I assume these are electric bicycles that will allow one to gain a lot of speed while also having the advantage of being able to bunny hop. He is hoping. This will certainly be a rather interesting bicycle to take a look at upon release, but as for now, the modder who helped with the making of this video was unable to use the bicycles to their full potential, I don't know, something about their keyboard or something, I don't know. But let's get to the interesting stuff, the weaponized Kanada. Now instead of being an upgrade for an existing model of the Kanada, it's actually its own separate version of the vehicle entirely, making it a lockable thing behind drip feed. The helicopter comes with missiles and machine guns, the machine guns are non-explosive, and the missiles are about the same as a lot of other missile launchers found on aircraft, so nothing really remarkable there. I do have to say though that the weaponized variant of the Kanada does look a lot better than the civilian version, mainly because the wider look that is a result of the onboard weapon kind of completes the look in my opinion. I don't know, what do you guys think? Anyways, that's pretty much it. This DLC is very barren on the drip feed side of things, but as GTA 5 reaches the end of its life, I'm not really surprised. But hey, at least a lot of the vehicles that are being added look rather cool. Definitely looking forward to being able to drive some of these myself without being kicked out as a result of the anti-DLC car usage system implemented into online. But hey, in any case, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one.